Here we are again, you guys. It is that time where we are going to get inspired, drool over some fabric, and have a great time during the semi annual, biannual style maker fabrics swatch video. This is the fabric video of all fabric videos, if I do say so myself. Um, I get a lovely little bundle of fabrics from Style Maker Fabrics twice a year after they kind of bring in their seasonal collections. They do one for spring, they do one for fall. This is the fall slash winter um, collection. We have an extra one of these bundles. So if you want to enter to win a whole bunch of swatches that I think they do six by six swatches. Um, check my Instagram, check Stomacher Fabrics Instagram. We'll have information on how you can win one of these there. But I've got a really long spreadsheet. You guys can access the spreadsheet as well. Um, it's probably super helpful for you to go ahead and do that. Um, make a copy of it so that you can edit the the file and then you can make notes as you go along. So whether you have project ideas that come to mind, whether you just want to say like on a scale of one to 10, how much you love it, you know, things like that. You can make notes there. If you're a pen and paper person, I get you. Go ahead and grab pen and paper. I'm going to have um, little item numbers that I'm going to call out now every time I do this, I know I miss some. I try my very, very best to call them out every single time, but I'm only human. So if I forget, just pause the video. You'll be able to see them because I'm going to flip the fabric over. So you'll be able to see the numbers and or follow along with the um, spreadsheet. We'll be going in order. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, I think that that pretty much covers it. We go by color. So it's like, you know, the Roy G. Biv um, uh, system. So we're going to start with reds and make our way through the rainbow and come out the other side happier and broker, <laughs> but happier, but happier. Okay. All right. So without further ado, let's get to the swatches. Ta-da. <laughs> All right. The first one we have here is called large paint large scale painterly floral rayon crepe in the colorway rose well if this isn't the most beautiful colorway i've ever seen so this is a floral rayon crepe so um gonna kind of teach you guys about fabrication a little bit as we go but you'll see a lot of this stuff start to repeat itself so um rayon is rayon it's lightweight it's drapey but it takes on many different types of textures depending on the weave so this is crepe crepe tends to have a little bit of texture sometimes the texture is more or less um this is a pretty smooth uh crepe if i do say so myself um, it's got a really like buttery hand feel to it. You know what I mean? It's very um, fluid. And I mean, that is just kind of how Rayon is. Biscuit seems like she wants to join the party. So she hops on this table. Well, okay. Um, but it's got all these really great colors, eggplant, these peaches, pinks, even some blues in here. So that would be a great way for you to kind of try and, you know, match up. Cause you know, in the fall and winter, we try and layer a lot. So we might be layering some cardigans or jackets or whatever. That's a great way for you to pull colors from some of the colors in the fabric. So this one is really great. It is item number 19479. And I also, um, Michelle, the owner of Cellmaker Fabrics, sent over some uh, photos that she took of the big scale of the print. So if you want to see like how it repeats and all that kind of stuff, this is the picture that she sent for this one. Um, so you can see just kind of how big it is. And, you know, sometimes there's like another flower or an animal or something like that thrown into the mix. Um, so this is the one for the large scale painterly floral rayon crepe in the colorway Rose. Okay, next we have plush triangle quilted double knit, oh boy, in rows. Super cool. All right, plush triangle quilted double knit in rows. First of all, the rose colorway again. This is coming across in person like very, um, it's like a, like a cross between lot. <laughs> okay, we can't do that. You can stay in my lap. Okay, we have, it's like a, somewhere between like a lilac and a lavender but it's very like muted kind of dusty colorway um so the rose is more of this that's down here in the bottom and less pink okay so it's more of the purpley but this little triangle 
quilting in it obviously would make for a really great you know like maker jacket or anything like that where it's you know you don't have a lot of seam lines you can really just let the quilting speak for itself great little easy coat to make on the other side if you're curious is this really really nice actually super soft maybe I don't even know some kind of knit um, in the back it does have some stretch to it not a ton but it does have some stretch um, even more on the <laughs> on the straight green okay this is gonna stop now this is 19662 um, and yeah just really really cool for those easy very few seamed types of garments um, you could even do like dresses I could even see this in like jogger pants. I don't know, that might be a little bit funky, but like, you know, a really warm like jogger set. Just think about it that way. That could be really cool and fun too. Okay, next we have Animal Spot Rayon Crepe and Rose. So again, we just talked about Rayon Crepe, right? Um, same thing. This one feels a little less buttery, a little bit more, I don't want to say papery, but a little bit more just the texture's rougher on this one. Um, not visible texture really, you can just kind of feel it in the hand feel. But it is the um, it is the rayon that we love. Here's the beautiful little drape on it. Uh, it has like pretty colors of, like the rose in this one is a little bit more pink. Do you see how that's more pink than this one is? Um, so the background's like a little bit like pinker and then these are I don't know if they're really dark purple like eggplant or brown or maybe even black um and then a white background there but just a really classic kind of cheetah-ish type of print they kind of look like smiley faces to me <laughs> now you can't unsee that I know I'm really sorry <laughs> um but yeah this will make a really fun top or dress you know just the colors of it just really speak to fall but you know animal print is classic it's a year-round thing Okay, we have 19112. This is soft cable stripe sweater knit in pink. Um, this is also available in the colorway rust and mustard. Uh, rust, I think, is like a reddish orange and mustard is like a yellowy color. Wow, look how cool this is. I mean, it looks like it's straight off of like some kind of hand knitting, you know, some knitting, what are they called, loom? Um, Super cool. I mean, this would look like something you got in the store. We don't get to come across stuff like this very often in home sewing. So when I see stuff like this, I get really excited because it is unique and different um, in terms of what's available to us. But it is kind of like a looser weave. It's definitely like a lighter weight. It's not going to be like a chunky cable knit sweater. It's a lighter weight one. Think um, think more fall really than winter. Think about like some just like lightweight sweater, maybe even something that's like falling off the shoulder kind of vibe. I, that's what I'm getting from it. Um, but it does have a lot of stretch to it because it is that lighter, um, it's a looser weave. And then on the straight grain, no stretch at all, but tons of stretch going this way. I can really see it as, like I said, either like a elbow link, um, like off the shoulder, maybe even cropped or just like, or like something really just like oversized and slouchy. I just, I'm getting slouchier vibes from, from this one. Um, but yeah, three colors available, 19112. And we have, and if you're curious, I do like to try and match up some of this stuff. So if you wanted to make a cardigan with this, that's not really a vibe. <laughs> it doesn't really go together. Um, okay, now we have Tartan Plaid Twill Wee Flannel, um, flannel shirting in the colorway wine. Okay, so this is Twill Weave. Twill Weave is the same weave that um, is that denim is made from. So it's done like on the diagonal. Can you see how there's like diagonal lines here? Um, so this is twill weave. So they've taken flannel, right? They've woven it in the twill weave at a shirting kind of weight or finish. I don't know the right terminology for that. But it's tartan plaid. It is the classic cranberry colorway. I mean, this just always looks good. It is a shirting, but depending on where you live in the country, you could even get away with this as a very lightweight coating. Um it would be it would be pretty lightweight. This is um this is suitable also for like dresses even. Um so maybe less less so than a coat, more so just like a dress where you won't have to wear layers. This will just keep you warm the whole time. Um but yeah 
shirt dress for sure, shirt, like a button up shirt, obviously. Um, it doesn't have any stretch to it, so I wouldn't do anything too fitted, uh, but you could uh, make some really cute dresses with this one for sure. Um, the drape of it, there's not a ton of drape on this, uh, but enough to get you some gathers, some pleats, you know, if you wanted to do something along those lines, you definitely could. Um, all right, so that is 18861. All right, autumn chambray double gauze in the colorway wine. This comes in five additional color or five total colors. Okay, uh, double gauze. So you guys know gauze, right? Like it's that lightweight kind of almost I when I think of gauze, I think of like um like whenever you get a wound and they need to like dress your wound, that's what I think of. But this is double gauze. So there's actually two layers of gauze here that is stitched together. I'm just gonna kind of ruin this one, but stitched together every so often. So two layers of gauze stitched together it creates this very like cloud-like, um, really light, fluffy, I don't know, kind of fluffy hand feel. Um and it's a chambray. So this fabric here, the outer fabric, is a chambray gauze. That's so interesting. And then double layered. Um, this is the colorway wine. It definitely has some grayness to it. Can you see? Like even the little, um, the little threads that are holding it together. Where was that? Are gray. Can you? See? Oh, it's well. I guess it's gray and red. Yep. Yeah. So it looks like it's woven with the burgundy and the gray kind of together. Um, so that's super cool. 19743, five total colors in this. Um, these make really great like um, trapeze type of styles, like A-line type of styles, things that float away from the body. This has like no drape to it. It's not going to stick to your body at all. It's meant to kind of float away from the body. So think about all those like tent shapes. Um, this is really great for that. It's also really great for a really lightweight, again, jacket. Think like bomber jacket style, um, but soup, almost more like a shirt um, than a jacket. So really, really lightweight version of that here. And then colorway wise, it actually does look pretty decent with this because it's calling in on like these purples here. Uh, probably a little too, yeah, too funky for that one, but um, these two look really pretty together for sure. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, now we have layered medallions, digital print, cotton jersey knit in magenta. This is also available in like a cool tone colorway that they call aqua. And I do have a photo of this one that's really, really big. So you can see kind of what the overall print looks like. But the layered medallions, digital print. So that means it's, you know, printed on digitally. You can see from the back, right? The back is white. Um, cotton jersey though. So they've taken cotton jersey and they printed this picture on it basically. Um, cotton jersey that you know and love. This one actually feels pretty mid-weight, um, pretty great recovery um, for, a, for a jersey. And yeah, it just, it's, it's got like, it's a little bit, I don't want to say stiff, but it's definitely not as drapey as what I'm used to in some cotton jerseys. So the mid-weight is really speaking here. So this would be an exceptional, like long sleeve fitted tee. I can see it as that just right off the bat. I think that would be like such a cool, vibrant, kind of close fitting t-shirt. Um, you could, you could go as far as making like a somewhat of a close fit dress out of it. Um, yeah, but I'm not seeing it as like, I'm not seeing it loose. I'm not seeing it oversized. I'm seeing like fitted, but not so, because if you pull too tight, then it turns white, you know? So it needs to not be super fitted, but closer fitting. I don't know. I'm, I'm really that, that t-shirt. I cannot get out of my mind. Like a, like a, yeah, like a fitted, almost maybe even a crop top even if it's fitted all the way down. Think about like a, um, what are those swim guards? Something like that for some reason is jumping in my head. Not a swim guard that you would wear in the ocean, but like that fit and that kind of style um, I see in this one for sure. Okay. Oh, and that was 19665. 
Okay, so there's that. And our colors are looking so pretty so far. We have next distressed corduroy shirting in the colorway red wood. And this also comes in five colors. Whoa, this is corduroy shirting. Wow. Okay, so it feels, it's a corduroy for sure, because you can see the whales, but it's very like velvet like. It's very soft, very smooth hand feel. Um, not a ton of variation, depending on which way you go here. Um, no stretch at all, um, either way, in either direction. But the, the, the loft of the whale is pretty significant. So you can really see the ridges and it's just so soft. It actually kind of has a little bit of drape to it. I think the whales probably help with that a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking like some kind of really cool, either light, light, lightweight jacket, almost like a shirt jacket, but like, but like big, but like oversized. Um, I'm thinking like, um, I don't know. Cause it's not, it won't hold the shape of something super a line, but maybe like a bubbly something or another. I don't know. I'm just getting like big volume with this one. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I just think that would be so cool to have it like lean into the drape of it for sure. But the contrast between drape and corduroy is like tricking your brain. You're like, I don't understand. Um, so that would make a really great juxtaposition, I think. Uh, one, nine, seven, three, zero on this one. Next, we have painterly autumn floral cotton jersey knit in the colorway rosewood. How adorable is this? I love a little small little print. Um, this one's cotton jersey, just like we've talked about before. Um, very, very, very smooth on this one. This one has a very nice hand feel to it. Good recovery. You can see that here. Um, and then this is what the stretch percentage is like. It's actually got some decent two-way stretch um, for a jersey, but you know, it's it's soft. That's the main thing about this one. And the colors are pretty vibrant. I mean, they're calling it rosewood colorway. I don't even know what that is, but I mean, this is like borderline neon here. And then you've also got like your burgundies and stuff. So there's a lot of fun colors to play with, with this one. Sorry, this is right side up. Um, a lot of fun color ways to play with this one. You still also even have this like wine color is like that basically, right? But then as we get into the oranges, you're going to be able to see those too. Those are going to come out. So that one's really good. Yeah. Lots of fun colors. Easy, easy t-shirt for this one. And you just have like a little statement t-shirt for sure. Um, super cute. Oh, did I give you the number on that one? 19737. Seven. Okay, now we have tossed ditzy floral rayon jersey knit in wine. They also have it in a navy colorway with a navy background. So breaking this down, tossed ditzy floral. We can see that, tossed ditzy florals. Um, rayon jersey. So they, it's the rayon, uh, rayon threads, yarns, whatever it's called, <laughs> knitted into a jersey knit. <laughs> um, this one, so rayon is going to make it inherently just super, super, super drapey. Um, some people love their rayon jerseys. I'm telling you, I'm not a big fan just because I find it a little hard to work with. I mean, of course they feel great. They look great. They make beautiful like circle skirts and things like that. Um, or like drapey dresses that kind of like fall in on your body and you've got that kind of cascade effect. I mean, they do produce really beautiful garments. I just think they're a little futzy to, to work with under the machine. Maybe it's my serger. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it's really beautiful. The colorway is really vibrant, lots of drape, super soft, you know, all the things you love about Rayon Jersey. One, nine, one, 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 four on this one. One, nine, one, one, four. All right, now we have abstract leaves, fall, I'm sorry, abstract fall leaves, stretch rayon poplin in wine. This is when I get super excited when I start to see fabrications that I've either never seen before or have seen very rarely. Um, so this one is a stretch rayon poplin. First of all, I love rayon poplin. I like rayon poplin more than rayon chalet. 
So if you like rayon chalet, but you find it a little bit shifty and hard to work with, try rayon poplin. It will change your life. It's like the perfect blend of drape and structure. It's like the perfect balance for me. But this one is that. So it's that lovely, you know, what we love about rayon, the drapiness. The poplin adds a little bit of structure to it. But this one has a stretch element. No, it's actually the stretches on the the stretches on the straight grain. So I think that they put these stickers like if this was the selvage, these are the selvages. So that means if they do that, then the straight grain is definitely where the stretch is. That's not super helpful, but you could probably also turn it. I don't see why you couldn't turn it if you needed to like lean into that stretch a little bit. Um, so because of that, because of that stretch, I'm thinking instant jumpsuit, instantly a jumpsuit. I love having the stretch element of fabrics in crotch curves because it's just one more thing helping you be able to move around and helping add to the comfort of that jumpsuit. A little bit with fit, not too, too much. It's more about wearability. Um, so you don't have to worry about having, you know, so much wearing ease in there. You still need to have it, but if it's a little bit less than it should, this will be very forgiving. Um, but yeah, I can instantly see wide leg jumpsuit, something kind of maybe even sleeveless on top. Um, really, really pretty. Love that. And it's got this little mustard color in here too, that you can call on. Would look great with navy, denim, all that. All right. Wide rib jersey knit in wine. This also comes in an olive colorway. I want to say they've had this before. I want to say that I made a top from it, but it was more red. Huh. I've definitely seen this one before. Um, wide rib jersey knit. So jersey knit that's ribbed. So we've been really getting into these, you know, ribbed fabrics lately because the style and fashion is leaning more toward fitted and ribbed fabrics are the best way to do fitted garments. So if you like your things to fit a little bit more fitted, um, but you don't want them to feel necessarily fitted, rib knit is the way to go. It will move with you every which way. Um, it's just super, super, super great. Um, this one's a little bit on the lighter weight side, so I'm not sure I would do like a full body con dress with this, but definitely like your tank tops, definitely not tank tops. What am I saying? Turtlenecks, long sleeves, you know, all of those kind of like fitted sweater type of things. Bodysuit would be great in this. Um, I think it would even be really cute if you did like a matching set with um, like biker type shorts and you can wear like a big oversized sweater. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it has the texture of the rib, significant stretch, um, not super soft, but not, you know, scratchy or anything. And then you have this drape here, which is really pretty. 18074 on that one. Next, we have large sketch floral cotton modal jersey in the colorway wine. So large sketch floral, okay, large sketch floral cotton modal jersey. Okay, so modal is a brand name of rayon. So this is essentially a cotton rayon blend jersey knit. All right. So we should expect, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is dreamy. Wow. Okay. So everything I said about rayon poplin for wovens, apply that to this for knits. This is the equivalent. So you've got the soft hand fill, you've got the drape, but you've got just enough structure in it too, to make it not annoying to work with. Um, so it's literally like the baby of rayons and cottons blended together. Wow. This feels so good. So good. Um, this is the only colorway of this one, but you do have lots of colors mixed in. So this is reading, this is reading more dark green to me than navy or black, but then you've got, you know, this, this olive green, you've got a mustard, you've got this pink, you've got this red color, but also this rose in the background, even a beige and some, you know, yellows in there too. Lots and lots of colors. Here's the stretch on it. Two great two way stretch. You guys, this is a really, really incredible, incredible fabric. Um, obviously it would make a wonderful t-shirt, but also think like t-shirt dress, um, where it's a little bit, looser, a little bit more A-line. Um, we'll call into that drape a lot. Um, really nice. If you had like a, 
if you had like a shirt that had like ruffles or frills or something like that, this would make a great version of that too. Really, really good. Love that one. Now we have plush stitch texture sweater knit in burgundy. This one comes in four colors, plush stitch texture sweater knit. So sweater knit is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a knit um, that's meant to resemble like an all over sweater. So not like cable knit where it has the cables going down it, but like an all over even knit. Um, but this is a plush stitch texture. I'm not even sure what that means, but this feels incredible. It's like so soft, drapey, like the perfect, the perfect weight for me for a sweater. I can't do heavy sweaters, right? I, first of all, I live in the Carolinas. Like that's, it just never gets cold enough. Uh, plus I don't love thick sweaters because as I'm going in and out of like con temperature control places, it, it's like I'm hot and I'm cold, I'm hot, you know, it's like too much. But I love, love, love these lightweight ones. I love to make them oversized. I love to make them a little bit cropped. Um, it just feels very like loose and I don't know, organic in a way. It just, yeah, it's very casual kind of sweater. But man, it looks and feels super, super expensive. This feels really, really, really nice. Like real, I can't even explain it. All I can keep saying is how nice it is. And I obviously can't stop petting it. Anytime you see me like really touching it a lot, that's that's when you know it feels, it's the good good. It feels really good. Um, 19584 on this one. Love this one. It comes in four colors, four colors. So how many will I buy? That is the question. That is the question. Okay, last one in the red category. And then we'll start to pair some of these together really quickly. Um, this one is print mix patchwork rayon jersey knit in the colorway wine it also comes in navy here's a photo of the large you know swatch of it so you can see all the different patchworks um but it is a rayon jersey we've talked about that so it's like the lightweight you know really smooth not so much soft but smooth um hand feel very 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 drapey as you can see that here um and it is the jersey so we're gonna be like actually for a rayon jersey it's not super stretchy um definitely had rayons with a little bit more stretch than that but this is the cross grain here but yeah this one is really just like leaning into that patchwork trend i think we're going to see a lot of it um kind of calling to the um quilt coats this is going to be the version of that in like garments okay but as we start to look through this red category we can start to pair some of these things together. Um, do you see how this is a little bit brighter than this one is? So it's not a perfect match to this, but it goes, right? I'm not so concerned about it being matchy matchy. I'm concerned about it going together. And I think those two go really well together. Um, this one, these two go really well together. I can for sure see this, like think about a cropped oversized sweater over your jumpsuit where like the waistband of the jumpsuit barely, barely peeks out underneath this like oversized sweater. And then again, because we're going to the more brighter colors, these two go better together. This one's a little bit more purple, a little bit more red here. So they're not, a, again, they're not a perfect match. Um, and then we've got that. We've got this guy here. Um, this one is obviously looking like a little bit more, is that, I guess it's the pink that's coming out. Um, I think it looks really good with this one, actually. If you wanted to make like corduroy pants and then a top, yeah, those look super good together. Super good. And then our lighter weight ones, I still like these together a lot. Um, same thing with this kind of goes into this vibe. This is feeling a little pastel-y. So if you like, if you're not so much into the dark moody colors, this pastel vibe here is really, really nice too. And then we've got you know, this pretty much goes with just about everything. You cannot go wrong with a tartan plaid. I mean, especially with these colors in it. Um, and then this one's looking a little bit bright now compared to everything else that we've got. But I think, you know, if you're just like, if your colors, if you have your colors done in your spring or whatever, this is you, right? This is you right here. Maybe even these down here. Um, these don't look super great on me. I'm a, I think I'm a fall or a 
a fall. I don't know what I am. Um, but this is like the lighter, brighter version, whereas these up here are like the moodier versions. All right, those are our reds. Um, off to a really, really great start. Michelle did say that they love this collection and she's super picky. Um, so if she says it's good, then it must be good. All right, moving right along, we have Vine. That can't be right. Okay, they are switched in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to switch them here. So we're going to go in order of the spreadsheet, not in order of the stack. Okay, so this is Vine Floral Outline Cotton Jersey Knit in a terracotta colorway. They also have sage, which is like a green. So the Vine Floral Outline. Um, cotton Jersey Knit. So we've talked about Cotton Jersey Knit. This is definitely a mid-weight one. Love mid-weight t-shirts for the fall. It's just, it's just enough, um, like, insulation. <laughs> That's a terrible word, but it's, you know, it's like, it's, it's thicker. So it keeps you a little bit more warm, you know? So when you're doing your layers, you don't have to pile them on as much if you have like a really nice midway cotton, but I love like the kind of like mid-century vibes with like the little circles on the end. Even the colorway feels a little bit mid-century, am I right? Um, so yeah, it's the cotton jersey, not a ton of stretch or drape. Um, and then stretch wise, not a ton either way, either way. Uh, 19738 is our colorway on this one. Now we have the soft diamond quilted double knit in terracotta. So wasn't the other one a double knit? No, I'm trying to think of the triangle one. Yeah. The triangle one was a double knit. So this is the same as that. It's just soft diamonds instead of the triangles. And they're smaller and not as like, it's not as plush. Um, this comes in six colors. Uh, whereas the, this one felt a little bit more like a like an outerwear piece. This one feels a lot more like a top um, or like a like a sweatshirt type of thing. Um, I could even see it in a dress for sure. I could see it in, in jogger pants. I can see it, you know, like, I don't know. I could see a whole outfit in this. This looks really cool. Um, it is stretch wise a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit, um, double knit terracotta six colors. So double knit, like double gauze is knitted with two layers. Can you see? <laughs> It's not going to pull apart as easily as the other one did, but there's two layers. That's what gives it its little plush quality. So not super plush, not super thick, um, but really nice, soft, decent amount of drape. Yeah, for sure. Like a, a boxy top and like matching shorts or sweatshirt type of thing for sure. And for what it's worth, these are, these go, they're not exactly the same. This is a little bit deeper, but they go. Okay, now we have distressed chevron woven, chevron rayon, chevron rayon, say that five times fast. Distressed chevron rayon woven in the colorway rust it comes in black and plum also. Um, so distressed chevron, yeah, that's exactly what that is. And then rayon woven, which I think just means 100% rayon. I don't know if it is for sure a chalet. Maybe that's why she's calling it rayon woven. Maybe they're not even 100% sure what weave it is. Um, it feels chalet like. It doesn't feel like a poplin. Um, so yeah, I'd err on the side of lighter weight than the heavier weight of rayon wovens. Um, but this is like a really pretty, like a, I don't know, butter yellow cream color mixed in with this or contrasted against this terracotta, which is like a deeper burnt orange. It's not like, it's not pumpkin orange. It's, you know, it's a little bit deeper. So yeah, your fall dresses, anything with like a lightweight drapey sleeve, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay. This is, did I say this came in six colors? No, it comes in black and plum and that's it. Okay. Oh, and the colorway is called rust, not terracotta. That's what I, that's what I mixed up. Okay. This is large brush stroke, large brush stroke, floral rayon, jersey knit in the colorway rust. There's a large photo of this one because you can see the, the flowers are kind of really spread out. Um, 
but brush strokes, uh, florals, and rayon jersey. So lightweight drapey knit with this. Feels really good. Feels like all the rayon jerseys, super soft, super lightweight. Yeah, she's she's dreamy and really pretty. This background color is incredible. This rust is this is a reading a little bit more red than than orange, but it is it is really, really nice. So think about I'm thinking like some kind of dress with a circle skirt on it. I'm thinking like fluid, it, you know, fluid, maybe even a maxi skirt. Oh, this would be incredible as a floor length something. Um, so that's the vibe I would go with it. 19887 on this guy here. Okay, this one is called Sunflower Autumn Floral Rayon Chalet in Rust. It also comes in black, and here's a large photo of it. Um, this one's feeling a little bit like a little not cartoony, but definitely like drawn, right? Like not painterly, not brush strokes. It feels very like illustrated. Um, sunflower autumn rayon chalet. Okay. So we've got the rayon, we've got the lightweight chalet weave, super soft, super drapey. Yeah. This one's just a really fun, like, I don't know, seventies type of print, I guess. Yeah. Lots of colors. The background is that same like orangey, burnt orange, red color, but you've got lots of other colors. The green, this like peachy beige, and then cream color but look you've also got purples and blues and this green here well those are the same I think um so lots and lots of colors to play with on this one but yeah again your lightweight drapey patterns for that this is soft variegated rib knit rib sweater knit in the colorway pumpkin well I mean that looks great so variegated just means the colors or I guess for this one the the Yarns are variegated in color. Rib knit. So it's a rib and a sweater knit together. Ribbed sweater knit. Think of it that way. Um, similar to this guy, but not. Um, this one is not ribbed and this one is ribbed. I'm not sure if you guys can really see the ribbed texture on this very well. Um, trying to show you some angles. But yeah, this one definitely has a rib you know, the channels. And this one does not. This one's just like kind of more all over, even though it does have texture still. But yeah, this is a great color. I love, I love this color like a ton. Um, they're calling it pumpkin and it is soft there. That's not a lie. Very soft, drapey. Again, same sort of pattern recommendations that I gave for the other sweater knits. They're all so far pretty lightweight. Um, and so I'm picturing maybe even this one, I can see like a bigger like turtleneck on it, you know, it is going to stand up a little bit, but still be a little bit drapey. It would also be great for a cowl neck too. There's no reason you couldn't do a cowl neck, but yeah, some kind of like sweater, sweater dress, even like a, a fitted skirt would be really cute. Um, but just on the lighter weight of all of those things. Okay. Here we have diamond patchwork rayon crepe in the colorway rust. So you can see the patchwork of that here and how it's like all of those like muted orange colors even like the sage green and all of that it's all very just like muted tonal you can see barely barely here we have some like turquoise peeping in i love orange and turquoise together one of my favorite things um it's a rayon crepe so lightweight but it has that crepe texture um so this one isn't like rough it's a smooth texture still kind of like the first one we looked at but tons and tons and tons of drape so one nine one one six on this no stretch but yeah really really fun again with the patchwork trend for sure next we have a reversible reverse nope we have okay it is reversible reversible sweater double knit in rust i was expecting reversible to mean two different colors this one means two different textures. That is so interesting. This comes in seven colors. This is the colorway rust. On one side, you have this like almost like ribbed sweater knit. And on the other side, you have this smooth one. What will you create with this? I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. That is going to be so fun. 
um, trying to pull them apart a little bit to see if we can tell a little bit more about what they're made of. They feel very soft. They feel very silky, silky soft. I can't get these apart. Um, but it's got some weight to it, like a little bit of weight. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of hefty. Um, and I don't know if like you could just use one side for cuffs or I guess it would be like this. Like, is that the plan to use this as a sweater? And then this is your cuff. Cause it kind of looks ribbed. That would be the most obvious thing to me. Um, but man, yeah, it feels, I mean, it feels super, super soft, super silky, still has a decent amount of drape, even though it is, it's weighty. It's, it's more weighted than I thought, uh, just by looking at it. Um, but really, really pretty, like deeper rust color there. If all these other ones were rust too, like, yeah, there, she called this rust, she called the Chevron rust. Um, but this is definitely like a deeper, a deeper rust for sure. Um, this is watercolor spot, watercolor spots, light sweatshirt fleece in rust. It also comes in purple and olive. So it's like watercolor droplets. Think of it that way. Um, light sweatshirt fleece. So it is fleeced on the back. Um, it is stretchy, not a ton. So it's, yeah, it's, well, it is a, kind of stretchy on the straight green a lot. Um, so yeah, this is going to be your really great, uh, sweatshirt option. It's going to be even like a sweatshirt dress. I can see this as, um, it is lightweight, like literally like the weight of it is lighter. Um, and it's not as like thick. It's not as thick. So think about like baby blanket fleece. It's a little bit more like that. Um, so again, not super, super hot. Um, one of those things where you could add a layer and it wouldn't just like have you melting. Um, but the star of this one is how it kind of, I don't know, these color, the way that this is like printed or like the, I don't know, the print of it is so interesting. I mean, look at all these purples and stuff. It's really, really unique, really unique, really fun. Not something that you see a lot of places at all. You know what I mean? Like if you made a sweatshirt, even like a set, like a sweatshirt and sweat shorts out of this, I can see that being totally kind of cool and interesting just because of the print. Um, one nine seven six zero on that. Also available in purple and olive. So if Russ is not your vibe and you're more of a purple or green girly, um, we've got you there too. Okay, last of the oranges, we've got Animal Dot Heavy Cotton Jersey Knit in the colorway Pumpkin. So animal dot, yeah, it's kind of like cheetah, um, heavy for sure. Like literally heavy, uh, cotton Jersey knit. Wow. Okay. If someone doesn't turn this into a fitted dress, that will be a crime. That will just be a crime. It has to be. It absolutely has to be. I don't love animal print. It's not my, not my vibe, especially like head to toe. But if that is your vibe and you love animal print, this needs to be a pencil skirt. This needs to be a fitted like body con dress immediately. It could even be leggings. Like that's how heavy we're talking here. And look at the recovery. It's just like incredible. This is really good. This is really good. One, nine, one, two, three on this one. And for what it's worth, the back isn't that bad either. You know? If you wanted to do the print and then a cuff, you could absolutely do that. Okay, so this is pumpkin, right? So here's all of our oranges. Um, and I wanted to see if any of them, well, obviously these two, I've, I noticed those almost immediately, how those are the same color there. Um, but you could even do this one if you wanted like a print on print type thing, print mixing. Um, yeah, that's just too much, too much, too much. Okay, so yeah, there's not a ton of options to play with in the orange category. I did want to see if there was any, like for example, this one had some orange-ish qualities to it. So we've got this here. That's going to be too much. And then we've got the darker one. I don't hate it with this one at all because it is more of a bright situation. Same thing with this one. It's very bright but this would kind of mute it. This would kind of tone it down a little bit. So I don't hate it with either one of those. Then I wanted to see what was this like with some of these like purpley things, right? If that's a little deep, that's too bright, but maybe this one, those are close. 
they they go right um and that's just orange vibes this one i don't think has a yeah that's all like browns and greens so okay so that's yeah those are the ones i would match up from orange orange land okay moving right along i'm gonna make a i'm gonna make a literal rainbow how cute is that gonna be <laughs> okay next up we're moving into like our i guess yellows yellow for fall so this one is the midway ponty knit um, in ochre it comes in seven different colors um, and it's everything you love about ponty knit so um, similar to that with this i mean this is called a heavyweight cotton um jersey wait what was it yeah cotton jersey but i mean I don't know how that's not Ponty. Like they feel very, very similar. Um, this one does have, I will say, a bit of a smoother hand feel, um, not as much drape. Um, so yeah, all the wonderful things about Ponty. You can really make everything, um, jackets, dresses, pants, you know, pull on Ponty pants are one of my most favorite things ever. Um, so yeah, and then for what it's worth, this, I mean, it's very like pumpkin-y, but... <laughs> It's really cute. Um, but if you're a solids person, you can obviously go like really tonal with all of this stuff too. And it even looks good with like our burgundies, right? That's like cranberry sauce <laughs> and turkey. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So uh midweight one nine seven eight three, very soft, ponty knit with the stretch, you know. She's good. She's good. Nice quality Ponty for sure. Okay, now we have layered mod floral light sweatshirt fleece. So same thing as the other lightweight floral, uh, lightweight sweatshirt fleece. This one has the floral print with the purples and the yellows and the even peaches and baby pinks in here. So this is just a different print of the same exact fabric. Um, and layered mod. Okay, colorway is called rust um one nine seven five eight very soft very fleecy but still lightweight okay now we have scatter multi-dot rayon poplin in ochre how cool is this it reminds me of um terrazzo oh i don't i pulled that one out of the depths of somewhere um terrazzo you know like the flooring <laughs> Um, but it's got like look at the royal blue and the bright green and even like the purples blacks and whites lots of fun colors in here that you wouldn't normally think to put together it's rayon it's poplin she's great i love i love love a rayon poplin this one does seem to be a little bit drapier and lighter weight than some rayon poplins i've come across um definitely lighter weight than the stretch rayon poplin that we saw earlier but the color weight is good yeah one nine six eight two on this one this next one is called scatter multi nope that's what we just said this is scrolling tapestry floral rayon woven in ochre it also comes in sage look how pretty that is who would think to put this like this ochre color with like lavenders and baby pinks even the mint green that is so pretty in these like scrolling, what does she call it? Scrolling tapestry? I don't know, like fans to me with leaves. There's definitely a flower element to it, a floral element. Um, but it's a rayon woven, lightweight, drapey, um, more on the chalet side for sure. Um, yeah, super cool. I love that one. Uh, 19608. This one is called Texture Plaid, Textured Plaid Yarn Dyed Rayon Shirting in the colorway Turmeric. So a yarn dyed rayon shirting. So yarn dyed means it's not printed. Textured for sure. This is like the more muted modern take of Cher's um, iconic plaid outfit from Clueless. Turmeric is the colorway. Rayon shirting. So not a not a ton of drape. Gosh, what would I I mean this needs to be like a dress, right? This needs to be like like a fit and flare dress is what I'm seeing. Um I don't know that it would hold like pleats of a pleated skirt super well. I don't know how it presses, but um 
they would look like. Let's put some pleats in. <laughs> I mean, they look good. Yeah, they would hold some press, I think. That's just finger pressing that's already staying down. Um, even like a, think of like a woven cardigan. That's also what I'm seeing in this. Maybe even like a set, like that in a skirt, for sure. That one's cool. Different, unique. 19888. No stretch. Um, this one's called Kaleidoscope Butterfly Collage Jersey French Terry. There's a large picture of this one. Wow, that is, those are some butterfly wings. More, um, definitely more like realistic than I was expecting. Um, but it looks like stained glass, right? Like, wow, that's incredible. The, the fabrication, the fabric itself is Jersey French Terry. So Jersey French Terry. So the backside does have loops. They're very, very small. And then the Jersey knit. So some decent, some decent straight grain stretch, hardly any cross grain, a little bit, but not a ton. Yeah, that just, I mean, it was one of those things that like from far away, you wouldn't maybe even know it's butterflies until you got up close. And then you're like, oh yeah, those are a bunch of butterflies. <laughs> um, but it's, it's kind of like a mid-weight because it is French terry, right? It doesn't have a ton of drape, but some there. So like, you know, your typical like sweatshirt type of material. It would be a great, like, think about like a blouson type of dress um, where it's bloused at the waist and then into like a little straight skirt or pencil skirt. That's what I see. <laughs> That's what I see. Um, next up, we have autumn mattress plaid cotton shirting in butterscotch. If that doesn't say fall, I don't know what is. Love a mattress plaid, right? Mattress, I think it's a bad rap from like Caddyshack and all those types of things from the 80s. But um, this one's really mature. It's um, cotton shirting. Okay, so you would make like think about any other shirting. This one's lighter weight though. This one's a lighter weight one for sure. Um, so if you made it, you would need to wear like a shirt under it or something. It's even a little bit like light goes through it. That's how lightweight it is. Um, but not drapey. Very structured still. So crisp, crisp cotton um, shirt, but lightweight. And that is one nine five five one. And if you liked butterflies, we're not done with those yet. Cause look how cute and sweet this one is. This is called Scattered Butterflies Cotton Jersey Knit in the colorway Avocado. Love this one. Avocado, pink, gray. I mean, super super pretty. And it is the Cotton Jersey Knit. So, but this cotton jersey, oh yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty average in terms of weight and drape cotton jersey. So whatever you're you're probably used to. Great little t-shirt, t-shirt dress. Um, yeah, this one's really this one's just you know it's kind of sweet. You don't see you don't see a lot of sweet things for fall. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of those. Can I help you? Um, so that concludes our like yellow category. This is what we came away with from there. And, you know, it's kind of varied, right? There's like a lot happening here. So we need some solids to kind of balance that out. This happens to look incredible with this because we do have the purples. Those look so good together. So does this one actually. It's a little bit more purple than this, but not, not too much at all. Um, and I think this one's going to look really good with green, you know, this is just, it is what it is. And then the madras and this guy, hmm. I mean, we do have this like peachy orange, which I mean, really closely resembles that. These two look beautiful together. I mean, that's, that's really, really nice. Really nice. Um, no to that, no to this. These look okay because you're going to call out this, this stripe here, right? Those look really good together too. So yeah, pretty much the salt, uh, picking a solid from a previous category and matching it with this one is the way to go. I'm sorry about this. It slicks during this segment, but um, yeah, she's really into it. Maybe because I get so excited. So she gets so excited. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So good little um,
place to start with some print and then mixing them with some solids from before. And I think we'll find some other ones in, in the future um, colorways as well. All right, let me put all these back and then we will move into our green category, which starts off with the most interesting thing I think I've ever seen from StyleMaker Fabrics. My goodness, this one is called Lustrous Chevron Quilted Puff Coating. You guys, this is literally like plastic, plastic, and then it's chevron quilted. I mean, literally so cool it would be one of those fabrics that you saw in the store or a garment you saw in the store and you'd be like oh i could never get my hands on that kind of fabric but here it is so it's got this really thick layer of batting in it and then it's like it's like dotted the way that it's sealed together is like a dotted little stamp of this like triangle that is wild it can you see the shine on it it's definitely like plastic but it doesn't look cheap it doesn't look like trash can you hear it it's weird it's weird but cool and so it needs to be a jacket naturally like a bomber jacket instantly is what i'm thinking <laughs> it's so cool i've literally this is shocking if you had told me that stomacher was going to bring out something like this i'd say no way but yeah they really find the cool stuff that's for sure oh that's um one nine eight zero one wow okay now we have the right the wide rib jersey knit and olive we already saw the wine one it's the exact same thing as this okay so everything i said about this one applies to this it's just a different color all right we also have the classic ponty knit this is a staple of theirs they have this always they have 10 colors available um, if you've never sewn with their ponty knit before it is really 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 great it's just incredible. This would make the most wonderful Ponty pants. It is different than this one, not the same. Okay. Um, this one was Ponty, Ponty, Ponty. Yeah, this one was available in seven colors and it's mid weight. This one is their classic. Okay. Mid weight and classic is the differences there. And then the classic Ponty knit is one seven three four five. Really, just like a jumping off point for like making outfits. And what's great about Stylemaker is if you email them and you say, for example, I love the butterflies. Can you help me find a bottom weight that would look good with them? She would maybe send you back with this. Um, can you find a cardigan that would look good with it? She would maybe send you back with this. So they'll reply to you and they'll help you match things, which is really, really fun. I mean, it is still shopping on the internet. There's only so much we can do, um, but they do try and help match solids to prints if you find something that you love. So, um, okay, so that's those two. This is Animal Spots Digital Print Linen Blend Jersey Knit. Have you ever seen such a thing? Linen Blend jersey knit it even kind of feels like a little bit scratchy like linen it's definitely got like a texture to it that's for sure um wow okay and then the stretch on it is this is cross grain and this is straight grain Ooh, but the colors of it i kind of love the colors it's an animal print but doesn't read straight off animal print you know it's like is that or isn't it is it just spotty you know or it's animal print so yeah the the texture the hand feel are a little bit like rougher um but some still some nice drape it would make a great little top for sure this next one is the stretch midwell corduroy solid in olive comes in five colors stretch midwell so not baby, what do they call micro whale, but also not like the large whales either. This is the mid whale um, and olive. So it's corduroy, you know, everything you know and love about corduroy. So no stretch. That's what the backside looks like. Soft, velvety. It does have naps. So this way is smooth, but this way it definitely like, it looks not pill, but it's definitely like, you know, it does what what velvet does i mean sorry what um corduroy does but this way is the smooth way okay 
Yeah, colorway is called Olive on that. This is a mammoth flannel total tartan plaid in the colorway Evergreen. Um, this is the first like wintry type of fabric I think we've come across in terms of weight. Um, mammoth flannel is very warm, very cozy, very soft. And this is the tonal tartan plaid. So tonal with the greens. Um, and then a tartan plaid print. No drape, no stretch. Um, the, the star of this is just the colors and the way it feels. It's super soft and it's very warming and very like, you know, it'll keep you nice and cozy. If you made this into like a flannel type shirt, um, that's all I would need. Like I could make this into like an oversized shacket is really what people are calling it, but it's basically just like a button down shirt out of a thicker, heavier weight fabric. And that's all I would need. Throw this over some leggings and I would be good to go. Yeah. Or even like a, like if I made like a bodycon suit, like a little jump play suit, what are they calling them? Like a little fitted like leggings, but they have a top added to it. Um, maybe not in that color, but some other colorway, um, maybe even a gray. I could wear this over that and like be kind of covered up, even though what's underneath is basically like workout wear. Okay. So this next one is stretchy, stretchy jeans knit stretchy jeans knit in solid hunter is the colorway stretchy jeans knit okay not super stretchy stretchy that way so this is straight grain this is cross grain is the plan is the idea that you would make jeggings this is like a jeggings knit it comes in seven colors um it feels like good enough for a bottom weight. It's definitely got the, the diagonal weave to it. That's a little bit bright, but I don't, I don't hate that side. And then there's this. So you, yeah, interesting. Jeans knit. Yeah, for sure, some pants. And because it has so much stretch on the straight grain, it'd be great for a crotch curve. Yeah, I can see that. And some pants. This one is 19764. Seven colors. That could be something fun and unique to play around with. Even like if you did like a boot cut, just having it fitted would be cool. Interesting. Love this one. Just for the uniqueness of it all. It feels a little bit like it's definitely a noise. You know how we talked about drape and stretch and hand feel? Why isn't there a terminology in fabric for like how noisy it is? It's like the, what could we call it? Like audio, you know, um, it had to have like a ear word, a listening word. But anyways, okay, that's really interesting for sure. Animal spot print stretch denim in indigo and jade. Whoa. Look how cool this is. This needs to be like a Mimi G fitted denim classic dress. You know how she does those like, like they look like jeans jackets, but they're, but they're tighter fitting and they have like the pencil skirt and like all the details of like a jean jacket in a bodice. That's, that's what I see in this immediately. Um, it, she says it's stretchy. I mean, I'm not getting a ton of stretch. I'm not getting stretch at all, actually stretchy jeans knit I mean a little bit like like a little bit almost how um stretch twill is kind of like that um this is called hunter no it's not this is called indigo jade and it's not stretchy <laughs> that was the last one okay I'm getting them confused animal spot printed yeah stretch denim okay okay sorry I'm getting myself confused it is stretched just not a ton I just think that that is so cool how it's printed like that with the green animal print on the blue. I don't know. That feels so fresh to me. Just very fresh. But very noisy. <laughs> no drain. Um, and that little bit of stretch. Yeah, like a jean skirt all day. Cute little jean skirt too. Um, and then lastly in the green category, cotton modal jersey knit in solid jade. This is a staple. They have, tw I'm sorry, I'm giving away my next fabric. They have 25 colors of this and three of them are new. So if you think you've seen them all, you've got three new ones to go look at. Um, so modal jersey, so kind of like a rayon jersey. 
solid jade. Um, and this is like a mid-weight rayon, so it's not super lightweight and drapey like some of the other ones that we've seen earlier. Um, it's definitely not cotton, it's definitely still rayon, but it is that kind of uh, closer to the midway of uh, the weight of rayon jerseys. Um, got some decent stretch. The color of this one is really, really nice. This is the colorway Jade. Yep, super good. One, seven, five, one, six. And now with these greens, I really feel like we have a lot to play around with in terms of matching things together. These two look really nice if you wanted to go totally tonal, <laughs> totally tonal. Um, if you wanted to do your jean skirt and then have like a rib knit top with it, these look incredible. Um, as does if you did like a ponty skirt and then this is a top uh, I was really hoping because this is like a browner deeper green that maybe it would call out this but I think it's a little bit off it's brighter it's actually more for this yeah yeah those look super good together and then as I was showing you like when you find um the all these greens in the butterfly print you can really pair up you know even this jade color looks really good because it's greens and blues you can really play up the greens in this, even though it's like a dark moody palette here, the green can kind of like brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, and then um, something else had a lot of green in it earlier. Remember I was like, well, this one has this. So if that's, this is like a corduroy skirt and then that is a top that matches. Um, I remember there was something with a like big green Hmm, I can't find it now. That's that happens. That happens. But like I said, if you wanted to buy this and you wanted to help matching, she could definitely do that for you. Yeah, it wasn't that. Okay. Yeah, the greens. I mean, wow, I am excited. Can you hear it in my voice? It looked really, these are fun. These are fun and unique and different, like for sure. Um, special, special. Okay. Okay, next up is Botanical Floral Outline Slob Rayon in Teal. It also comes in Rose and Emerald. Here is a large blown up picture of it. Outline Slob Rayon. So it's rayon, right, which we've talked about a lot, but it has this slob texture to it. And slob texture is kind of hard to explain. You can see a little bit in the weave there, um, but it's kind of like... Oh, I'm doing. A, I'm not going to be able to come up with a good way to explain it. It's not like it's still smooth, right? It's still got a smooth hand feel, but it does have a grittiness to it, like a texture to it. Gritty is a bad word, um, but it's still very smooth. So, if you've ever had like a slub cotton before, or like a slub knit, even then you might even recognize it from that. But it's definitely smooth still, got all the drape, um, but still a little bit of body, which is nice. You know, it's going to hold up to, you know, flounces and, and fuller skirts and all that a little bit better. It's also going to be a little bit less shifty, still a little bit, but a little bit less. And the color of it is really just great. This is the teal, but it's also got this cream. And then I love whenever it's like cream and black outline with like a colorful background. It's just such a beautiful blank slate without it's colorful without being like over the top colorful. So I like this one. This is 19499. Next, we have matte bubble quilted puff coating and sage. This comes in four colors. So unlike this one that was like shiny, we have the matte version now. This is really nice and it's got these little, oh, what's that shape called? I can't remember. Is it damask? Is that the damask shape? I don't remember. Anyways, um, it is still kind of like nylon-y. Can you hear that? Going back to our sound. <laughs> um, it's still very nylon-y, um, but not shiny. It's very, very matte. I mean, I have a lot of lights on this right now, and it's not giving off any reflection at all. Um, so what did she say? Four colors of this one. Bubble quilted puff coating. Yeah. One, nine, seven, nine, five. Just another great option for some of those like quilted puffy coats you're looking for. I mean, you've got so many different options for that in this collection. If you are trying to make one of those, like look no further. Like you could, you've got to find a fabric you like between these options and all the different colorways they come in. I mean. All right, next is Abstract Floral Digital Print Heather Sweater Knit 
in sage, also comes in rose. Here's a larger pick of the print. Um, it is an abstract floral. It has a digital print, so that's like printed on. The, the picture of the florals are printed on. And then it's a heather sweater knit. So if you see the back of it, it's heathered sweater knit. It looks just like it would. And then they printed this on it. Um, so I think there's going to be some more of that gray in the background. And then you have these large flowers. So you could obviously do that and then use this for your cuffs. That would go really well together. Um, but it's a sweater knit. So stretch wise, yeah, decent amount of stretch this way or uh, cross grain, straight grain, not as much. And just a beautiful, lightweight little drape going here. So, 19375. All right, next is another one of the distressed corduroy shirtings. This one is the colorway sage. So, it's the same thing as this, um, just in the sage colorway. That is 19732 on that one. Don't need to talk about this too much, but it's, you know, has the kind of the velvety type of feel to it. Um, no stretch and barely any, any, um, drape to it. Um, yeah, just really like the, the best quality about this one is just how it feels. So super soft for sure. Then we have abstract, nope, nope. Watercolor leaves, print, a digital print cotton jersey. And this is in the colorway white. It also comes in the colorway sage. Watercolor leaves, digital print. So again, it's printed on digitally. Just a cotton jersey. All right. So again, another like good mid-weight jersey. If you want to make those t-shirts, um, it's got some good four-way stretch. And not a ton of drape, right? But still you know, it has a little bit, you know, it still is a jersey knit. So it's going to have some, but that cotton keeps it a little bit more structured. And we have all these pretty colors. Like she said, it's watercolor, right? Yeah. So like the deeper blues and greens or the deeper blues into some of these greens. And there's even like gray in here. So you could really pair that with something. Um, well, I mean, that's stunning. If you want to make like a little skirt out of this uh, pair of shorts and then put this on top, that would be great. And then I mean, it's kind of monochromatic, but <laughs> you know what I mean? You could really lean into the to the sage colorway there. That is 19739. We have confetti speckled sweatshirt fleece in the colorway ocean. This comes in six colors. So we've got the base of the sweatshirt fleece in this really kind of pretty blue color. And then it's speckled with all of these. Is that thread in there? Yeah, it's like in the fleece. That's really cool. So it's not just like printed on or like painted on. It's actually like within the within the fabric. And the fleece is super soft, but so is the outside. Yeah, this is a really nice one. I like this. I'd like a sweatshirt out of this. Yeah, that would make a super cute little sweatshirt or even just like sweat shorts. I think you could make um, some cute little tanks to go with it too or t-shirts even. It'll have a, a little bit of that loungewear at leisure type of thing going. And six different colors too. So lots to choose from. 19773 on her. Next is Cozy Cotton Flannel Jewel Tartan Plaid <laughs> in Turquoise. Cozy cotton flannel, jewel tartan plaid in the colorway turquoise. Okay, I'm not sure how all those words go together, but basically it's a cotton flannel. Okay, so you have your flannel shirts, your shackets, all of those things. Pretty blues and greens and purples, and black is this main color in the background here. Yeah, but everything from light blue all the way to like an emerald green, even. 19630, no stretch, no drape. Yeah. It is a little bit thick. It feels it feels like a little bit of a mid-weight um, flannel for sure. Here is layered spots, cotton modal jersey knit in the colorway ocean. Also comes in olive. Um, layered spots. Okay. Layered. I like the layered spots. I think I'm just like a sucker for anything that has like brown mixed into it somehow. I don't know why, but it's got like the ocean blue plus this navy. And then you've got this like, I don't know what color that is, like this brownish color and beige. It is cotton, no, modal jersey. 
So, a, or is that, okay, it's a blend, cotton modal jersey. So um, a blend of rayon and cotton together, which gives you that really nice soft hand feel um, without it being, it has some really nice drape to it, but still doesn't feel as shifty. You know what I mean? It's not gonna move around on you a lot, which is really nice. Yeah, these are great. These cotton modal jerseys, the two of them that I've had so far in this collection, I'm loving those. I honestly, I I like them more than 100% cotton for sure. And I'm not sure I'd ever say that. But yeah, this is really good. Here comes another one of the wide rib knits. Wide, subtle rib knit solid in deep ocean. Comes in seven colors. Actually, this one is different. The other rib knit is this, and these are not the same. Can you see how this is flatter and this has more ridges in it? So this is why it's the subtle, um, the subtle, wide, subtle rib knit. So can you guys see that texture in there? It's definitely there, just a little bit flatter. Not as much stretch, but still a decent amount on the cross grain and a little bit um, on the straight grain too. You've got a little bit of drape, but it's not, you know, fully falling in on itself. It is, yeah, just a rib knit. She doesn't say what it's made from. So um, yeah, really nice, really soft, right? Smooth hand feel and like a fluid-ish type of drape. And that takes us through our teal category. Um, so if we're looking at, let's see, where did we start? Yeah, right here. So if we're looking at the teal fabrics, this is what we've got going here. They don't all go together, obviously. I think this is a really great jumping off point for any of these like darker ones. Can you see how good those look together? Obviously it matched this one almost perfectly, right? And then this one here, it even looks good tonally, you know? Um, but because these also have green in them, we could even like lean into some of our emerald greens that we saw. Maybe not this one. But this one, that one looks really good. That corduroy that we went by, went through earlier. Um, I mean, even this, because it's, again, not matchy-matchy, but it's similar enough. Because it has the gray and the greens and the beige, it kind of does call on this a lot, you know? Um, and then here was that Ponty. Right, so even though we are in the teal category, there are some still some ways to bring in the greens. Um, I was hoping maybe some of the reds would come in, but I don't think so, not with what we've got here, so. All right, so that is green and teal, although look at this. This probably looks good with, well, too many spots. Okay, I stand corrected. Well, I mean, that's denim on blue. That's gonna look good with everything. Okay, well, I got excited about that, but the greens are, I mean, yeah, okay, fine. So you can wear a jacket in this and have it match almost perfectly. <laughs> That's very specific, but you absolutely could do that. Okay, next is we're getting into like the navies. If you're following along in the spreadsheet, this one is repeating mini stripe rib jersey knit in blue and mustard. It also comes in a pink and olive colorway. That sounds like fun. Um, but yeah, tons of colors. You've got orange, blue, baby blue, black, and yellow. And then it goes backwards. So baby blue. Oh, wait. Okay, the baby blue is twice in that repeat. But it's got like a bit of a subtle rib, lots of stretch to it. Um, none on the straight grain, very drapey, lightweight. Lightweight here. Um, just a really, really fun backdrop for, I mean, probably some solids that you'd be putting on top of it here. Um, yeah, but the blue and orange is, it's, it's feeling a little bit, um, like varsity a little bit. Yeah. So here is Harvest Floral Rayon Knit, Rayon Jersey Knit in Navy. Um, this is not one nine one one nine um uh, rayon jersey that we've talked about it a bunch right it's the lightest weight the most drapey a little bit shifty and funky to work with but nonetheless it's really beautiful some people just love it it's got this um navy background it's kind of reading a little bit denim like the lighter side of navy 
and then gray and red and yellows and whites kind of all mixed in there. Yeah, really pretty print. I like this print a lot. It's like florally, but still, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as mature. It feels like a, play, a playful kind of floral, which is fun. All right, this one is Patchwork Jacquard. Patchwork Jacquard Midweight Denim and Indigo. Oh, how freaking cool is this? Must make a jacket out of this. Oh my God, this is awesome. Okay, so the patchwork is, it's patched. Oh God, how do I explain this? The jacquard stitching is what's creating the patchwork. So I don't know, I guess they had a machine come through and like randomly make these patches and then it would change the stitch to be something else. Cause it, like on the back, it's just, it's still, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. It's really, really, really cool though. That looks like a lot of fun. And then also with your scraps, I can see this being like a fun addition to like a denim jacket, like just swapping out the pockets or something. I love this one. So not a lot of stretch, no stretch actually, no drape. Um, it's just really unique and fun. 19610, I will remember this one, that's for sure. Here is Veining Lines Stretch Rayon Twill uh, shirting. Um, this is the navy colorway. It also comes in black. Navy and orange is always going to be a winner for me. I absolutely love these, especially because this is the darker navy and like the more burnt orange. Oh, so good. And this is a rayon twill shirting. Man. Oh, and it has some stretch to it too. Oh, this is nice. So just like um, the jumpsuit one that I recommended before, this would make a great jumpsuit, a great pair of dress slacks. Um something fitted even would be really nice on the top like a fit and flare dress would be exceptional out of this it's smooth you know borderline like buttery even on uh, the the underside hand feel is even butterier than the top um it's got you know a good amount of drape to it you know still some body in there it's not just completely like collapsing man this is a good one like when the substrate and the print come together they like match, you know, I, oh man, yeah, hard to resist. This one is 19603. So good. Here is Tossed Ditsy Floral Rayon Jersey Knit in Navy. It also comes in wine. So this is just a navy one. It's navy red, berry Americana, navy red, white, and cream. A little bit of light blue in there too. Um, a lot of drape. This one must be rayon. Yeah, rayon jersey. Soft and drapey. 19115. This is designer stretch denim twill and navy. Also comes in burnt sienna. So stretch twill is really great for um, like think about suits um, and suiting. So you would see this a lot in like Ann Taylor, Banana Park Republic, you know stuff like that. Um, stretch denim twill. So it is, yeah, it is a denim twill, which is that diagonal weave. And it has some stretch to it. Uh, only on the cross green, no drape, and it's just the navy color. Okay, now we have watercolor tossed floral jersey French terry and navy. It also comes in lavender. That's so fun. Um, yeah, okay, navy almost black background. All these purples and oranges and pinks. Wow, this is really pretty. Uh, watercolor tossed floral. Jersey French Terry. So think about like cotton jersey on top, French Terry underneath with the little loops, um, kind of like a lightweight uh, sweatshirt, I guess. Um, I've at least had French Terry's that are much thicker than this. So this is the lighter weight version of that for sure. But still a little bit drapey, still got a little bit of structure to it too. Um, yeah, just a really, really pretty print on this one. And it's just really soft. French Terry is always super soft. 19591. This one is wide twin stripe French Terry, a French Terry in navy and cinnamon. Yeah, I mean classic, right? This is definitely the the varsity kind of style still. Um, it's got a decent amount of stretch on the cross grain and none on the straight grain. And then here's the loops in the back. Much much thicker loops. 
uh, makes it a little bit more heavyweight and takes away from the drape a little bit. Can you see the difference between a light French cherry and like a little bit heavier French cherry? It's subtle, but the differences are there in the drape for sure. Weight wise, this one's actually heavier to me. Yeah, but drape wise is where that really comes into play. Okay, one nine eight six six on that one. This is wide, nope, pin dot texture stretch denim in indigo. So your pin dot, I actually, um, God, not from Stylemaker, I got it from somewhere else. A very similar version of this fabric, but it's like the opposite. So the background is light and the, the front is, or the dots are the darker. Um, and I made a um, little pinafore. I think it's the Helen Closets pinafore and I get compliments on it all the time. Um, so it's really great to think about denim especially when it has this little print, um, like denim dresses are really a lot of fun, pinafores especially, because then you can just pair it with like a white t-shirt and you've got a cute little outfit. This one doesn't have a ton of stretch in it. Um, it does say stretch denim, but the stretches, the stretches really just for like wearing, it's not going to be stretchy. It's just a little bit of ease of movement in that. And that's what the back looks like. One, nine, one, six, six. Obviously also great for jackets, jeans, mini skirts would be really cute, but I love my pinafore. All right, this is the last of the navy category, large scale abstract botanical rayon crepe in navy and chocolate. Here is a large picture of that one because on my swatch, I don't see any navy and only a little bit of chocolate. Um, so this is rayon crepe so it's that lightweight drapey rayon with a little bit of the crepe texture like the first one we talked about one nine three seven two to me anytime a print comes really really big i like to make something really really big like a maxi dress or something like that you know you have that whole skirt to kind of show off the the large scale print of this one and this one's massive so um i recommend definitely something long flowy you know even just like a maxi skirt would be really great out of this. And just put it with a black top and you're good to go. Like you don't overthink it too much, you know? Okay, so those are our navies. And I specifically wanted to look at this one with some of the oranges from before. And this was our orange category. Um, let's see. Wow. A lot of the oranges aren't jumping out. This was the Ponty. That's close, cinnamon-esque. This one's a little bit darker than this one. Very, very, very close though. Um, and this is French terry. This is sweatshirt fleece, but those would be a really fun like um, play on pattern. Like if you wanted to mix prints, that would be kind of fun. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, what else? What else? This is, um, no, nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope, that's too dark. Okay. And then on this one, I think we're going to call mostly out of the purples, but there are some fun like pinks in here. I wonder if that's too bright. And then the ochre kind of color. Yeah. I mean, that looks really good. Yeah. Excellent. And then this one has a lot of the greens so we could call in some of this olive eh i don't love that there there's a red red but that red red was another jersey and it had more flowers on it that would just be weird um all right well that's surprising i thought i would have been able to find more greens this green is very um I, uh, yeah it's it's like not as bright as this but not as deep as the other one this is going to be two. Well, that's the best match so far. Let's see. Yeah, I like this, this mix, this combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These look really good together. Yeah. So that was a really good match too. If you liked this and you wanted a solid to go with it. Um, if you wanted to do a rib knit something with it too. No, see how it's too muted. Okay. So that's that. This goes in the green. And then, yeah, that's going to be it for matching out of that category. All right. Scooting everything over. We're moving into purples. 
First one is Large Watercolor Floral Rayon Chalet in purple and pink. It also comes in blue and sage. And here's a large photo of it for you to take a look at the whole scale of the print. Um, again, it's a rayon chalet. We've talked about that. The lightest weight of the rayons, lightest weight, drapiest, um, a little bit shifty, but man, look at all these colors, right? It's just really, really beautiful. This is called watercolor floral. So purple, pink, and then there is a blue sage also if you're into more of the cool tones, but it's your classic rayon chalet. Great for lightweight blouses, flouncy things. You get the drill. This is the colorful mid-weight stretch denim and plum. This is a staple for them. They have it in 15 colors now. Six of those colors are brand new this season. Uh, Mid-weight stretch denim. So yeah, all your stretch denims that you um, get for, for either jeans or anything. You could make like a closer fitting jacket. You could make, you know, uh, like a pencil skirt because it has a stretch in it. It does allow you a little bit more freedom of movement for those things that are a little bit more fitted. So this is the colorway plum. That feels like a really good jumping off point for a lot of these that we saw earlier. I mean, look at that. That's almost a perfect match. I'm surprised. I know this is the purple category. I'm kind of surprised this didn't show up earlier in the pink category because it is reading um, a little bit on the pink side. But yeah, look how cute it looks with that. You know, a denim and plaid situation for sure. All right. Now we have Midway Cotton Jersey Knit. This is a staple. I've used this one before on different t-shirts. I love this mid-weight cotton jersey, but it is very much mid-weight. So again, it's going to be a little bit more warm than some of the lighter weight ones. It's going to keep you warmer than your regular t-shirt. This comes in 30 different colors. <laughs> so I mean, there's got to be something, one of the colors that you like. Um, but this one is called Plum. Yeah, really pretty. This is Statement Abstract Floral Rayon Chalet in purple. Here's a large photo of this. Wow, this is really, really pretty. It's like Van Gogh or something. I don't know. I'm not very good at like art history, but um, blacks and purples and pinks and magentas and even like blues and greens, like lots of really pretty colors in it. It is a Rayon Chalet. This is, they're calling this color purple. Lightweight, drapey, smooth hand feel, almost like um, it feels very silky, very more so than any other rayon chalets I've um, gone through today. This one feels the most like a handkerchief, like a neck scarf, um, a head scarf. This one's really silky and smooth. Yeah. This is Cozy Cotton Flannel Total Tartan. <laughs> cozy Cotton Flannel Tunnel Tartan Plaid Plum. <laughs> <laughs> try and say that five times fast. Oh gosh. Cotton flannel, tonal tartan, right? And then the plum colorway. Um, this feels very youthful because it's like kind of neon, like the blue is a neon. And then you've got the plums and the magenta mixed in too. Um, but if you made this with like a floral blouse, that could be fun. Either this one, which looks great, or this one, which also looks great. You could have a really fun play on patterns in a this one looks the best, honestly, um, in a really sort of, I don't know, easy, I, this feels like an easy way to do that trend. Having the little blouse with a little mini skirt or shorts or whatever, I, I just think that that's such a winner, such a winner. It looks good. It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look you tried too hard. None of those things. So this one's good. 19629. I know you probably wouldn't normally pick out something like this, but I'm telling you, if you match it with the right top fabric make an outfit out of it instead of just like making separates and seeing what you've got like think about these things in outfits especially whenever you're able to look at all the fabrics at once like this yeah for sure okay this one's called boiled wool blend coating in plum this is a staple of theirs it comes in 15 colors i'm sure we've talked about this in the past i remember their boiled wool from before um, boiled wool is just a little too heavy for me down here in North Carolina, but, um, if you live in the colder climates, you've got to have a boiled wool coat. Like you just have to, um, this one is a blend though. So it's not all wool, which makes it a little less hot, but 
but still the colorway is really really great it's very saturated very like plum grape purpley looking um it would definitely be a cute little statement for sure um especially if these like deeper jewel tones are your vibe yeah but boil wool is a little scratchy you know it's one of those it's it, it's a little bit particular of a fabric to work with you have to do some pre-treating and all that kind of stuff but um, it's a classic. It's been around forever. So there's a reason, right? This one is 12017. This is Vine Floral Rayon Jersey Knit in purple. Yeah, Vine Floral. Got it. Greens and oranges being picked up in there. And it is a rayon jersey knit. You can see just how lightweight and drapey that is. Very smooth, very soft. Yeah, really, really drapey. Uh, 18829. Next up, designer modal jersey knit in solid purple. It also comes in teal. Oof, this one just, oh my gosh. Yes, I would like a sheet set made out of this, please. Modal jersey knit. Whoa, I can, this is wild. This feels like, gosh, this is hard to explain. It's like, you know, when they say something's like, liquid it feels like liquid like falling through my fingers but it's obviously not liquid but it feels like what it feels like when water flows through <laughs> I swear I swear I don't take anything I promise oh my gosh it just feels like that wow it feels it's like a little bit heavy it's a little it's got some weight to it but the drape is still like I mean that's that's very drapey but still a little bit of weight man this feels good this feels good. Oh yeah, this is, I, I guess I'm like a very sensitive tactile, tech, tactile person. This is just giving me, like I'm getting like fuzzy feelings in my fingertips. <laughs> it's like releasing so much dopamine. I don't know what's happening. 19337, just get you a swatch of this just to feel it, you guys. <laughs> Even if you don't end up buying it. My gosh, that feels, that feels incredible. Oh my gosh, look at that recovery. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I don't know what this costs. The prices aren't on here, but I'm telling you, it's worth every penny, whatever it is. This is good. Good, good, good. Purple or teal, you can choose from. All right, this is abstract layered floral linen shirting in purple. Yeah, very um kind of funky. I'm getting like 80s vibes, right? I'm getting like like the fall version of Don Johnson or something. Um, it's like bright, but not like, look, you have like this aqua color pink, but then you've got this plum purple background and black, like all this mixed in together. Yeah. What is it? It's a linen blend. Oh yeah. All day long linen blend. So this is like, if you live at the beach, you live in Florida and you want to like dress for the fall, but you can't wear any of these like hot things because it's still a million degrees wherever you live. This is the way to do it. You get all the colors, right? But you're still in linen. Like it's still lightweight and breathable, you know? No drape, but linen's hard to tell with drape um, without pre-washing it because there's always like a little, I don't know, something on it um, that makes it a, read a little bit more structured. But I'm sure when you wash this, it'll wash up nicely. I can totally see this in just like a wide like tent dress kind of thing. And just letting the print do all the talking and not cutting up that print into a little bunch of little pieces either. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, one, nine, six, three, four. This is what I mean about the print and the textile coming together perfectly. If this print were on like a, if it were on like a, even like a jersey knit, it, you know, it's like not the best use of a t-shirt print. But when you say it's out of linen and now I'm all of a sudden thinking of like tent dresses and things with volume and all of that kind of stuff. Now all of a sudden the creative wheels get going. It's a little bit meh as just a jersey knit, but as a linen blend, it just, I don't know, it just, it just gets the, gets the juices flowing differently. Okay, this is abstract, no, tonal autumn floral, where are we? 18997, tonal autumn floral cotton shirting in purple and chocolate. This is like, this is, what is this? Cotton shirting. Okay. It's giving me like sateen vibes, like cotton sateen without the sheen. So if you've ever worked with cotton sateen before, this is like just a matte version of that. Very, very tightly woven. 
Yeah. Good cotton shirting. Not a lot of drape. There's not going to be any stretch. Um, but yeah, think of like structured shirts, skirts, dresses, things like that out of this. And again, with the browns and the purples kind of all living together and, and that pop of green. Yeah, it's a really interesting colorway for sure. I don't think of brown and purple as like going together, but they look really good here. I wonder, remember this like reversible thing? Like, look how that just like jumps. That color just jumps off of there. Yeah. Okay, one more purple one. This is abstract total leaves sweater knit in purple. Yep, okay. Yeah, sweater knit. Got it. Not a ton of stretch to it at all. But it's the purple, the beige, and the black. It's the colorway. And these are like, you know, big branches of leaves. Printed on 19158. It is soft. It is drapey. You know, it's a good, another lightweight sweater knit. I think there's more lightweight sweater knits in this collection than any of her previous collections. So if you're into the lightweight sweater knits, like, like we all are, um, any of these would qualify as like a really good lightweight knit. Whereas some of the other ones I thought drapey, oversized, maybe cropped. This one I'm getting more of like your traditional like sweater, you know, the crew neck, long sleeve, you know, nothing, nothing fancy. Um, just a good quality sweater. It'd make a really great sweater dress too, for what it's worth. It is a little bit, like you can see light through it, um, but I do think it would hold up as a sweater dress really well. All right, and that pretty well rounds out our purples. I did wanna see, cause this one had purple in it and this one had teal in it. I wanted to see what those vibes were. That's a lot, I get it. Okay, it's very, very bright, fine. Um, but I was just curious, cause they did have all the same colors in there. Um, Purple, purple, purple. What do we have that works with purple? Some of these other prints in here. Um, not a ton of orange. There weren't a really a lot of orange solids. Yeah, I think the best bet is like something like that. This cranberry one kind of reads very purpley, purpley red. Um, this pink one would pop off on this guy. Right? This, I'm sure there's gonna be a black something or another. That's probably best for this one. Maybe even this one too. Um, if you wanted to call out some of the greens, you could do like the brighter of the greens. Like this corduroy here would be really great. Yeah, and then did we get, yeah, we got some solid purple things. Hold on. Um, solid purples would be like, oh boy. Um, like this one here would be kind of good with this maybe yeah i like that so this was the this is a jersey and this is a rayon um so it'd be like a top and a cardigan kind of thing you know or um the grape one. Oh, what about this one too yeah that's also really pretty if you can ignore this one yeah those look really pretty together this one's a little too deep um oh this one here from the very beginning remember her those also look good none of these purples are bottom weights um except for maybe the boiled wool you can make a skirt out of it it is very grapey though you know um and none of these are these are all a bit more muted purples these florals that we got earlier on um this one's deep purple this one little section um yeah, we talked about this one. That's kind of a good match. But even, I think this is even better. Or honestly, it was this one that was so good. Yeah, those look good too. Oh, and this plaid. Remember this shirting? This looks pretty good with the, this grape is just going to be like, it's going to be a pop of color. There's no two ways about it. Um, that's more this color. These two match better. It's still even a little darker. This one is But okay, there we have our purples Next we're going into the brown section. So we've got 
19884. This is the square tartan plaid cotton flannel shirting in cream. Very classic. This reads kind of masculine to me, but I think it would make a great little set, like a jacket and a a jacket and a skirt or jacket and shorts, you know, mixed together, right? Don't you think that would be like a really sweet little set for fall? Then you put on some like knee-high boots and call it a day. You could even do like a baby blue um like bodysuit underneath, something close fitted. What a winner. 19884. Very soft cotton flannel shirting. Lighter weight um, flannel than this one. Similar to the other one we had. No, these two are these two are like and I don't remember the other one. This one? Is that flannel? I know it's twill. I don't remember. But yeah, these are more similar. All right. This is large scale abstract geometric rayon poplin in latte and black. Here's a large photo of it. Again, abstract geometric is what she's calling it. It is a rayon poplin blend. So it's like um, rayon chalet with a skosh more structure to it, just a little bit more. Still very soft, still drapey, um, but not as drapey as a chalet. And you just got like all the basic colors covered there, but it does have the beige background, which I can't really pull off. Um, but if you have a darker, like if you're darker or lighter than me, I, this would look really good um, for sure. Ooh, look at this one. This is Japanese sketch floral canvas. Well, that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. This is, this comes in three colors. Yeah, three different colors. Oh, I love this. What is it called? Sketch floral? It almost looks like little stitching lines. Yeah, and you have your beige background, but and then like white leaves. And these are almost like olive green leaves with black stems and whatever those things are called. So think about bags for sure. Um, you can even make some really great uh, simple clean line jackets out of canvas for sure. No stretch, no drape, none of that good stuff. It's just the print. Then it's like, it's like an oatmeal-y kind of background. One, nine, five, six, seven. All right, animal girlies. This is layered animal spots. Well, oh, please. Layered animal spots, rayon woven in tan and blush. I mean, it doesn't get much more cheetah girls than that, right? It's the pink, it's the cheetah, it's girly, but still animal print. So it's like sexy girly. Oh God, that sounds like inappropriate to say, but you know what I mean? Um, it is a rayon woven, so lightweight, drapey, um, very smooth, very soft hand feel, and would just make the cutest little blouse or dress, or even like culotte. Like I love these rayon rayon wovens for like culottes or you know skirt the shorts that are so um, flowy and and wide that they look like skirts. You know, usually have elastic waists. That's a great way to pull this off. It's not a ton of your body that it's taking up and you usually have a solid bodysuit or something on top. So it's just a really easy way to balance out something that's like kind of a crazy print. But if you wanted to put a sweater on with it, no, this is like a baby pink. This is very, very bright. I had, I had high hopes, high hopes, but even this is too purple. Yeah. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> All right. This is a soft stretch micro whale corduroy. This is a staple of theirs. It comes in 10 colors. This is the colorway khaki. It's micro whale because the whales are very, very, very small. Like it almost looks just like a smooth velvet, but it's definitely corduroy and definitely has a nap to it. No stretch. Whoa, I lied. There is some stretch. Does it say that? Yeah. Stretch micro whale. So again, really great for ease of movement in mini skirts and pants and, you know, fitted tops and things like that, where you want to have something close fitted, but you also want to be able to like sit down and bend over and raise your arms and things like that. 18528 is that one. Okay. This is soft variegated Hachi sweater knit in taupe. Very cool. Hachi knit is like uh, diamonds, I think. Those of you that are better at knitted things than me, remind me what Hachi knit is. Diamonds, right? I might be wrong. Um, very soft on this. 
and it's variegated with uh, more of like it's black, but also like the the brown that's here is not as yellow. Um, it's more green. If that if you know anything about color theory, it's more of a green brown. So it's almost like a grayish than it is beige. So like a green gray brown, um, which is why it works better with my skin tone than something like this does. Can you see the difference there? Yeah. All right. Very nice, very um, lightweight, beautiful little sweater. Um, I love the open weave of Hachi Knit. Really easy to sew and work with. 17441. This is colorful mid-weight stretch denim in taupe. We just went over this with the purple one, I think. This is the taupe colorway. So it's the same as this, but taupe. Again, a staple of theirs, 15 colors, six of them are new. I'm assuming these are two of the six. Okay, then we have plaid check double gauze in chocolate and neutral. So double gauze is the, oh, and it's reversible. She didn't, did she say that? No, but it is. So sometimes the two layers of gauze that they put together to make double gauze um, can be used together to make something. So think about this for like turn back cuffs or collars, or if you wanted to make something similar to that denim dress that I just posted that had like all the different plaids, you could do this one with two different plaids. Um, but yeah, just a really fun way to know that you're getting the exact same colors, they're gonna match, the scale is right, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's double gauze, which is just cloud-like. Okay, here is Colorful Animal Spots sweater knit, sometimes a sweater knit stick, um, in chocolate multi. Here's a large photo of this. These colors are so fun, very unexpected. So you've got the chocolate background, but then you've got like mauve, almost like hot pink. You've got this pumpkin orange and then like orange orange and then this aqua color. Wow all on these animal spots. So cool. And then it's a sweater knit. Oh, it's so soft. So soft. Wow. This is, woof, this feels good. Um, yeah. So decent amount of stretch on the cross grain and a little bit on the straight grain. Yeah. Just really, really, really soft and just interesting with the colors. If you like colorful things, you probably like animal print, just traditional animal print, but this is a really fun take on it. And think about all the things you can wear it with. My gosh, definitely just going to keep this into solids. You know, matching them with different solids, but um, lots and lots of different options with that. If you want to make a cardigan out of it, um, you know, lots of colors to put for the top underneath. Yeah, totally. This is the classic mid whale corduroy in chocolate. We saw one of these earlier. I don't remember what it was, but this member we talked about mid whale. Um, this is a staple of theirs, 15 colors. Two of the colors are brand new. And was it in the greens? Oh, I don't remember. But you guys do. If you liked it, I'm sure you wrote it down. Well, here is the green version. Or, I'm sorry, the brown chocolate chocolate version. Classic mid whale. Okay. Okay. That brings us to our very last section of blacks. So we have a tonal tartan plaid brushed cotton shirting in gray, but it's also got this baby pink in here. What was that one we just saw with the pinks in it? Oh, it had this. This is going to be weird. This is a no. <laughs> just curious. I remember baby pink. Okay. So brushed cotton shirting. Yeah. Very lightweight, very smooth because it is brushed. Um, the brush quality also adds to the structure. So it's not as drapey. Like it's it when you, oh, what am I trying to say? The weight and the drape are a little bit juxtaposed. It's lighter weight than it is drapey. You would think something so lightweight would be more drapey than it really is, but this one isn't. It has a little bit of structure to it. Oh. And just pretty, you know, grays and pinks. This is Arietta 
Ponte de Roma. This is a staple of theirs. It comes in seven colors. Um, this is Ponte de Roma, which is a little bit different than regular Ponte. It just feels so good, you guys. I cannot explain how good it feels. Very soft, very smooth. Um, you know, no drape. Really great for like pull-on pants and leggings. Um, if you wanted to do something with more of a boot cut or flare, you could definitely do that. It's got the structure for it for sure. And it's in this beautiful heather graphite color, which is really nice. We've had actually a lot of things with like some subtle grays in it. Um, even outside of the black category, I remember kind of being surprised by some of the grays as we were going through them. Hold on. Like this one, that's very graphite on the butterflies. Yeah, so any of those that um, that had the gray in it. Yeah, oh, about these butterflies. Remember that with the gray? That's really pretty together too. Green and gray are a classic combo. Okay, this is artistic floral digital print jersey knit in slate and black. Digital print, jersey knit. Okay, you're familiar with these this terminology now, right? We've been through so many of them. The print here has a lot of purples, a lot of grapes. It's got a blue background. Um, so you could even call out some of our blue section. Um, it is more of that denim color. So like this, you know, would look really good with it. If you wanted to do a cardigan and a t-shirt. Um, you could definitely do that. Yeah, really cute. Again, I just love the, I don't know, I love the black outlines. This one is a little bit of both, a little bit of the illustrated and a little bit of the digitized kind of pictures, but it's a good mix. Okay, um, now we have, what is this? Colorful squiggles. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Colorful squiggles, heather, jersey knit, and charcoal. But look, it's like glitter. These gold bits are like full on glittery. So that is just like super fun. This is like a uh, bright lavender. And then this is like your pumpkin orange. It is a jersey. It's a jersey knit, right? So we've talked about those. A little bit of straight uh, stretch both ways. Pretty drapey, pretty lightweight. And this one is 19594. All right, this is designer abstract animal print stretch cotton twill in black. Yeah, super cool. Biscuit likes it. Um, mostly black. You do have a little bit of that taupe and white in there. Um, people can't see it, Biscuit. Um, designer abstract animal print. So it's a stretch cotton twill. So we know what stretch twill is, right? Like we've seen that before. So again, for like your fit and flare dresses or your close fitting pants, pencil pants, pencil skirts, things like that. Just gives you a little bit of ease of movement to have this little bit of stretch in there. Yeah. 18999. And this one. Here is something classic style maker. This is romantic fall floral rayon jersey and knit in black. Yeah. Love the bright yellow and the reds with the pinks mixed in, but also this green, all set on a black background. Yep, really stretchy both ways. And this one is rayon jersey, so lightweight and drapey, very smooth on the hand feel. Yeah, just a classic. If you've got, um, if you wear a lot of like black denim, get a jersey knit with a black background. It's the same thing as wearing blue jeans with a blue background, you know? Okay, this is Pinstripe Fine Gabardine Suiting in Black. This is reminding me of um, like Rue 21. <laughs> is that, am I aging myself? How we used to make, it's what is this, gabardine? Um, I think the stuff at Rue 21 was probably polyester, but how we used to have those little itty bitty skirts or skorts. Can you imagine a skort in this? So cute. Mixed with that little like cropped jacket. I know some of you remember what I'm talking about here. You would get this outfit from the mall. Everyone had one. Oh, such memories. Um, some decent drape here. Not a lot of stretch, hardly any, if any. Um, but a classic drapey little pinstripe. How cute. What a classic. 19371. 
This one is watercolor wildflowers Jersey French cherry in black. I love the blacks and the lavender purples. You know, all of this, even something like this, right? Like, I know it's a little wild, but it goes, right? Or you could be classic and just do like the solid grape or whatever. But lots of other colors to play around with too from your spring wardrobe. If you got any hot pink or pink, this is like a um, coral color. And then you've also got your like bright orange too. Yeah, and it is the French cherry. So it's got the loops on the back. Um, very, very similar to the other French cherries we looked at. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. I like this one. I love how it just pops off the black background. This is abstract fall foliage, digital print, jersey knit, abstract fall foliage, and jersey knit. Yeah, very kind of muted color palette, but still lots of colors happening. Not quite as vibrant as this one, right? These are like literally jumping off the background. This is a little bit more muted and kind of settled in. Um, pretty stretchy on the straight grain, not so much the other way, but still some. And minimal drape, because it's cotton jersey. It doesn't say, wait, digital print jersey knit. Yeah, it doesn't say, but I'm thinking like lots of cotton in here. Yeah. Okay, this is window pane plaid rayon crepe in black rayon crepe so we talked about that lightweight drapey with a little bit of texture this one happens to be a little bit loosely woven so you can see light through it but i mean window pane black and white it doesn't get much more kind of traditional and classic than that yeah if you're a geometric girl for sure for sure this one is one nine one six three now we have ultra fine stretch cotton twill in black. This comes in six colors. This one's giving me for sure like cotton sateen, but it's twill weave. Um, definitely has a shine to it. Definitely has a little bit of stretch about the same as sateen would. Um, and it feels really soft and smooth without a lot of drape. So great for slacks, blazers, suitings, um, things of that nature. I've also made a lot of fit and flare dresses out of fabric like this and this one comes in six different colors it's ultra fine which I would I think that that is what speaks to like the how soft it is how smooth the hand feel is in your classic black all right this is watercolor autumn leaves digital print and jersey knit in black yeah I think these three kind of want to live in the same territory this this and is it this one that I was thinking of? Yeah, maybe even some of them earlier on had that kind of muted color palette to it, um, just with a dark background. But you can see this one's still more vibrant than this. And definitely, you know, your, your fall leaves thing happening here. But it's digital printed and jersey knit. Lots of stretch both ways or always. Um, here's the drape on it. Not a ton, but also not nothing one nine seven four zero and then very last we have abstract watercolor lines sweater knit in black so your lightweight sweater knit again this one reminds me a lot of the one we just looked at um am i gonna find it am i gonna find it not the hachi knits oh one of the other sweater knits i can't remember but it reminds me a lot of it um, the stretch and the weight and everything else, but it's got the black and the taupe and the gray and all of that. All right. With that, that is going to wrap up the style maker fabrics fall style tour for 2023. Some things to take in before I let you go here is that, um, all the fabrics are live on the website. Now there is a $5 flat rate shipping, no matter how much or little you order, it's a $5 shipping. 
discounted international shipping. If you want to get some more inspiration other than what I was able to kind of help you kind of uh, visualize and um, use your imagination on, if you want to see some garments actually made from these fabrics, follow along Stylemaker Fabrics on Instagram. They're doing six different makers, people that you recognize from the community uh, are making outfits with this and they're posting them every other day for the next two weeks. Um, so you'll be able to see some of that there, but follow Stylemaker Fabrics um, for that. Also follow them, check my page, my Instagram page as well to learn how you can win one of these swatch bundles totally for free. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed with this one. It's always so fun and exciting and inspiring. And now I've got to figure my way through this and figure out what I'm going to be getting for this fall. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.